Now you can drag it up. Well, what, what am I conducting it to? YouTube. It's on right now. No, YouTube isn't on. Yeah, it is. I can, I can prove it. I'm going to go on to uh, subscriptions. I'm going to find Retro Nerd. And it's on right now. I can see it. Well, that's Retro because... Nerd. Boom! It's here right now. It's on right now. I can see it. I yeah. You don't need to go to YouTube to look it up. It's here right now. It's on right now. I can see it. I yeah. You don't need to go to YouTube to look it up. It's here right now. Okay, Reese, turn that off. I yeah. Okay, let's do the game. Okay, hey guys, sorry, we've been trying to um get this working for a while, but anyway, today we are going to be looking at the best sites to buy retro uh, toys, and I live in Austin, and uh, uh, they have this little store called Austin Toy Museum, and I, I went there, I looked at the museum, I bought a few toys, and then I asked them where would the best website or place to get toys and they said ebay and that's why i'm on right now but i did find another site so we're going to be testing them to you see which one and they said to see which one is better and along with for the ride is my assistant say hello hi, assistant. hi 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 just so you know we're going to have an overpriced scale yeah we're going to have an overpriced and underpriced scale Yep. And anyway, let's get on with this. I was just looking at this toy. Oh, well, let's start with this, actually. Let's more closely represent what this looks like. So as some of you can't, you guys can't really see it that well. I guess I'll go back to like this. Okay. You know what? Open up the whole window okay. screen. Now you guys Open can see. Open up the Chrome window on full screen. Maybe that will help. Maybe that will help. Yeah. That guy help? Yeah. I yeah. don't know if that's gonna help, guys. <laughs> you can't tell us, but I will. I will check. Yeah. Uh, since it's gonna check. Don't be like. Okay. Does it look good? It's black right now. It's black? Oh, see your face. Does it look good? No. Okay. So, so guys, we'll, we'll just uh, do this for now. But, like, put it up so you can see it oh, really. Shoot. So you can see the website really easily. No. Sorry, technical difficulties, guys. What the hell? He's drinking the E. Click on display capture, uh, now press uh, settings. No, on the display capture, like the gear. Well, that's just going to take us to this. Yeah, and press crop. Yeah. It's none. None. Yeah, it's going to look pretty That's bad. working. Now press OK. What? Dude, now it looks really Not bad. Not full screen in the eBay. And people will see the eBay. Well, tell me through. if it works. Tell me if it works. Okay, we're just trying. This is like been a ride. Oh, this isn't the easiest thing to use. Does it work? Uh, I'm going on to the stream. Oh, this isn't the easiest thing to use. Yes, it works perfectly. Okay. Yes, yes it works perfectly. Yeah. So Okay, anyway, guys, so this is our first product. I'm not going to let uh, my assistant see how much it is. This is the Ghost Spooker voice module. So it comes with a little trappy trap, and you can change your voice to make it sound like a scary ghost. Ooh. And uh, it has different pictures, like uh, you can say... Uh, 
you can scare your friends and like, ho ho ho, Jimmy. And then you look at that mom. Oh my god. Did you see her face? It's like, oh my god. What is that? Did you get nuclear cooties? Not how much it costs. Okay. So it, it does come with the box. Anyway, Reese, how much would I mean assistant? How much would you say this would go for? Sixty-five dollars. It's ninety dollars. Let's do ninety minus sixty-five. Just ask your Google Google Home. I'm not in there. The answer is twenty-five. So we have A on our overpriced underpriced scale. A negative twenty-five. It should be worth $25 less. Yeah, because the box looks pretty bad. Oh, Nick's at Magic, 6 to 8.30 p.m. No one wants to hear that! <laughs> okay, next product. We have the Heavyweight Haunter. It looks like the Ghostbusters Haunter. Sorry! It's not the heavyway hunter. <laughs> Sorry! The highway hunter. So it looks like the normal car. Then go up and say, oh, I'm going to eat you. <laughs> and how much would you say this is worth, Reese? $59.95. It's $75. Stop watching the stream. Okay, good. It's working. Okay, so it's seventy-five. Point ninety-five. Seventy-five. Reese, I thought you were going to do one of your big rants that you do all the time, like, like you yeah. went off on that. We did a few other takes of this. You went off on. Here it is. It's the Ecto One, the two hundred fifty dollar Ecto One. It's still there. I want to go off on it. Well, for the first thing is, um, that thing that we just watched, it's a negative 15.05. 15.05? under price scale. Okay. Next product. Okay, it's the original Ecto-1. For $250. This thing is so stupidly overpriced that no one should buy it. Look at the box. Someone's watching it. No they have a bad life. Four hours. No one cares. And that's us. Hey, look. Look, it's used. They, it should say it's used so much that it looks like a dog crapped on it. And it's $250? Yeah, it's the original one, this though. Nonsense. This is straight up nonsense. You need to, like, get stay away from this thing. This thing is bad. Let's yes. do a counter on how many times I say the word bad. Yeah. Like, counter. Okay. Next. Oh, dude, how would you rate this? On the price scheme. A negative one hundred fifty dollars. So you no, think no, more, more. A negative two hundred dollars. No, no less. A negative one seventy. Okay. It should be worth thirty dollars. <gasps> Okay, next. What? This thing is bad. Well, I'm the next product, please. Well, I'm the next product, dude. Oh, man, I can't believe that thing was so bad. Just Are so you just know. trying to use the bad counter? Yeah, I have that, yeah. Right now it's at six. Okay, anyway, assistant, we're on our next thing. So it's the Ecto Bomber. What the heck? 
capture ghosts with the grapple claw. <laughs> This thing is so corny. This thing is worth sixty dollars. How much is it? I don't actually know. Tell me what it says. It says it's ninety four bucks. Okay, let's see. Reese, Reese, Reese. What? Oh, the horror! It's resealed. The horror. Reese, look the horror. I need to get a reaction out of you. This thing is nonsense. This thing is bad. Stay away from this. We don't even know what the price is. It's ninety-four bucks. Overpriced. A negative twenty. And no, it's so. Hey, I know the company's name. I can find them. It's GB Collections. No, it's Kenner. No, look. The company that sells this. Yeah. GB Collections. We we need to give them <gasps> the more GB Collections stuff. <gasps> it's all over. The place. Oh, they have more Ghostbusters. Let's look at the other Ghostbusters. GB GB Collection stuff is overpriced crap. Hold on. Maybe we should give them a second chance on the Ecto Three. Okay, so it's four bucks. It should be worth forty five. Not that much overpriced. You know what? I'm going to give it a zero. On overpriced? It's priced right. I'm going to give it a zero. Okay, on to the next product. We don't have any more Ghostbusters products. The. I thought we were doing Batman. Toys. We have to show him the Batman cereal. Oh yes, we will. We will get to. It's oh, I just spoiled it. Yeah, you just spoiled it, Reese. Okay, here's our next product. Okay, so Reese, we got a little cool line of action figures. Yeah, yeah. That dude's missing his hair. Uh, yeah, he's got some cool action figures. How much would you say it was? Compared to the last two takes, this should be worth 99 cents. It's 20 bucks! <laughs> remember the one that we found for 99 cents? Yes, I remember the one we found for. Okay, next product. I'm not going to rate that one. That was kind of not fair. Okay, this is the crappiest one I've ever seen. Okay, this is straight up crap. This is bad. It's yeah. molding. It's molding. This is really bad. Why is it molding? This is bad. I bet it's really sealed. <laughs> oh, let's see. It's bad. It's really oh bad. Oh, my God. Something ate through it. Bad. Oh, my God. Something's eating through it. How much would you say this is worth? Our BAD counter is at 15. How much would you say this would be worth? Zero dollars. It shouldn't even be on eBay. <laughs> this is 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Who would pay $50 to buy that? To buy this? This! <laughs> Tell me who! My mama! <laughs> with the rapper ghost? The rapper ghost? Ray stands with the rapper ghost? <laughs> what? What? This is so bad! This, this shouldn't be on E. No! New? Okay. It's a negative fifty point fifty. You mean fifty point? Oh, okay, yeah. Dude, it says this thing is new. <laughs> they lie. You know, you can actually be taken off with eBay for. It's negative. 
1.9 billion. Okay, next product. Reese, I'm being serious. I don't actually know what this is. We need to use Google Images. Okay, complete with the Ghost Sweeper. It's a Ghost right. Sweeper. Click on the image. It's a Ghost Sweeper. So you can clean your own floors with your ghost. How much okay, would you say the, this Ghost Sweeper? Right click on the image. Now right click on it. You're not clicking. Yeah, I am. I don't think you are. Okay, good. Now search it in Google. Now drag it to a new tab. Yeah. <laughs> I just JPEGed it. Okay, now, now uh, copy the image. What? Now press Control C on the URL. Command C. Sorry, Command C. Now go to Google Images. Do I have five minutes of anything? You can just bring Jenna over to me. I'm, I'm doing the video. Press photo. Press Command V. Okay, you didn't do it right. Okay, let's go back to the thing. Sorry for the inconvenience. You can do a control. A anyway, let's just get back. I think I know what the ghost sweeper is now. Okay, anyway, how much would you say this would be worth, Reese? $20. It's 30 bucks! Negative 10. Good job, you know math. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next website, shall we, Reese? Oh, hold on. Yay, we found it. Yay, oh my God. Okay. <coughs> okay. Reese, this is a live stream, right? Yeah. Can you pause the live stream? Why? I need to go get some bacon. Okay. Hey, we're back. Sorry for a little interruption. Why do I just have to go eat some bacon? Some juicy, juicy bacon. I'm eating it right now. They're actually crackers. I have an unlimited supply. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, right now I'm logging into um. What? To our channel, so I can edit some video, some of those dat dat videos. Well, at least you need to do the rate counter thing. Remember? I still have that. Right now, it's at seventeen. How many people are watching? Uh, I go to YT Studio. Why can't I see it? Oh, well, I'm, it has it. Um, I can't see it right now. Um, right now, we have four videos. Four, we have four views. On As what? Views. On what? Uh, Retro Nerd Stream. The original? No, I renamed it. It's um um uh, four views. Okay, back to the show. Na 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 na. Okay. We have this thing. You know what? Let's 
ask you something else besides Ghostbusters. Um, cool games. We need to show them that Batman cereal. Oh, that Batman cereal? It is special if you watch through the whole thing. Ooh. I am all hyped. Oh! <laughs> Do you use YouTube Studio? <laughs> I'm harder. Uh, I'm fine. What the heck? <laughs> what? This is worth $2. Yes? Yes. No, it's not. It's in really good condition. I know, but it's fireball. <laughs> Guess how much it mean? actually is, Reese. You're going what? to go off on this so hard. <laughs> how much is it? Three hundred fifty dollars. What the hell? Okay. Um. May, may I tell you that it was discontinued within one month? Is that why? That's pretty crazy. Is that <laughs> going to cool your rage a little? <laughs> is that is going to cool your rage a little? This thing is bad value. This thing is straight up bad. Yo, this Dad, thing. could you give me some water, Daddy? This is truly bad. I'm doing a live stream. Uh, please go off on it. Go off. I really can't. Uh, no, I'm not kidding. I actually can't believe how much this is. This is so bad. Just so you know, if you're wondering about that counter, it's at 21. Oh, yeah. I said the word bad 22 times in this video. <laughs> Oh, let's go to Gremlin. Do I look? I really want to see if you can look up my right, bed. Water, water's on the coffee table. Okay. Okay, please keep entertaining them. Na, 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 your content. We'll be back shortly. Na, 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 na. It's about these little tiny monsters. First, they turn out cute, but if you eat them, if you feed them after midnight, they turn into gremlins and they try to kill you. Can we watch something? Can we look at something else? Okay. How much would you say this would be worth? You don't have to look at the picture. I'm just, I'm just black. Just don't look at the price. How much would you say this would be worth? Zero point zero zero one cents. That thing is so creepy. It's supposed to be creepy. I know. I guess. I guess I'll give it maybe a ten. This is what they look like when they are creepy. They look cute. Yeah. But then, if you feed them after midnight. What do you mean after midnight? Like after midnight. Like after twelve p.m. They look like this. Okay, so if I fed them at 9 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. You can only uh, feed them at the p.m. Like 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m. Like that. So why do people feed them in the morning? They, well, it was an accident. See this boy? This kid, Billy? He was like, he was like, oh, it's only 11 o'clock. But this guy's stripe. The the bat the um 
when he was cute, he unplugged the clock so it would say it's 11.59, but it's actually 12. So he got fed after midnight and they turned into monsters. Okay, anyway, let's look at the Barbies. Oh, God. <laughs> what a change of events. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's look at Miss A.K.A. <laughs> okay. Sorry, we don't know our Barbies. How much, how much would you think this would be worth? To me as a boy? <laughs> no, like... It shouldn't be on Dow's <laughs> vintage toys. <laughs> or for anyone who actually likes Barbies, maybe $10. Try two hundred fifty. What the hell? <laughs> Go off on it, Rain. This is bad. This is straight up overpriced crap. This is bad. Twenty two. Twenty three. Oh, it's a twenty five. Oh, yeah. If you want to know what that counter is, I'll tell you at the end of the video. So, <laughs> I have nothing to say. What That's if you were a little girl who loved Barbies? How much would you pay for this? Twenty not twenty eight dollars at most. <laughs> Did you just fart? No. I'm making that sound with my mouth. Now we have Arkham Asylum Escape. How much would you say this is worth? Thirty-five. It's thirty-seven. That's not bad. A negative seven ninety-nine. Okay, let's go. Cops. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Okay, um. Sorry for the. Do they have anything for Nintendo? Oh, Wyatt. I want to show you something after the stream. It's called Doyle's Customs. You would like it. Okay, let's go. Show you the stream. They might like it. It's something to do with retro Nintendo Switch stuff. So. I just search video games. Okay. Um, let me show that at the end after our Batman cereal special. Okay. So we have this game based off of the horror movie The Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger. How much would you say this would be worth, Reese? To me, as a non-violence person, I wouldn't want to buy it at all. What if you were war addict? Like I liked it? Yeah. Maybe $30. Okay. How much is it? Tell us, Wyatt. Oh, thank you, Wyatt. It's 40 bucks. Not bad. Mine is $9.99. Negative But please, may you, may you rethink this. When it's sealed, look at the plastic seal. I'm not that big on if it's sealed. <gasps> I don't care if something's sealed. As long as it works and it does what I need to do, I don't care. Oh, it's what Batman! It's, it's Batman. Batman! I think if it works, who cares? Okay, Reese. How much would you say this Batman video game would be worth? It's sealed, mind you. $34.99. Okay. How much is it, Wyatt? 
popular video game. This was a ripoff of Mario called Cheetah Man. <laughs> and it was terrible. And it was really terrible. It was buggy. It came on the 101 game cartridge that came out in 89. They had those back then, like a 101 game cartridge. What does that mean? It has 101 games on this one cartridge and they're all pretty and usually they're pretty bad. And Cheetah Man was one of the games on this cartridge. And then it spawned an actual game. And then it spawned a sequel. And they were all terrible. And they were all terrible. Do people buy them? Uh, oh, yeah. People like Cheetah Man? No one liked it. They thought it would be fun. So they bought it. They really advertised it like hell. That makes sense. It was, and it was so bad. Okay. I bet there was somebody who liked Cheetah Man. How much would, would you think this is worth? Because it's so bad, 15. I don't even care if it's sealed. It's $400. What the hell? Go off on it, Reese. Go off. What the hell? This is bad. This is straight up crap. This is really freaking bad. Like, I can't stop. This is just so bad. Why? Why are you selling such bad stuff? This is not right, Dallas with the toys. This is just bad. Why would you do this to a paying customer, Dallas Vintage Toys? Well, Reese, look at all this stuff. You have a cheetah man? The Ultimate Collector's Package, a factory sealed game in a box to save forever, a second game to play and trade, Classic Cheetah Man, The Creation Comic, Cheetah Man Collector Poster, Cheetah Man Exclusive <laughs> CD, so Cheetah Man T-shirt, Extra Game Box, Games Game Box Collector Box have um, matching serial numbers, specifically limited to 500 packages. Oh, holy gram number is one five zero zero. I don't care. It's still bad. The game's bad. So why would anybody want to collect those back for a horrible game? You know? And the condition is 80. So not very good. It's in very good condition. Okay. okay, let's go back. Okay. So, do we start off with the Batman cereal now? No, well, this is the last item. Okay, so we have a classic Game Boy in the uh, seafood color, which I'll read rare, and uh, five games. Which are classics like Space Invaders, Tennis, Tetris, Cool Racing, and not that one. Fifty. Five dollars. Like the box. And then there's another shot of the Game Boy up front. I don't know. I it's seventy. A minus sixty-five dollars. No, a nice fifteen. Sorry. Okay. I throw it to the background cereal. Not no, now. Isn't it on eBay? No, it's on here. You have it? Yeah, I think so. No. Did I spell cereal wrong? C E R. Um, I don't know how to spell cereal. Oh! I figured it out. Okay. 
We're going to eat it. C-E-R-E-A-L. You have tuned in to our podcast long enough. You get to see our special cereal. Okay. He just joined right before he saw this. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. We are going to show you our special edition. Our special um, after show little item things. We're going to show you Batman cereal. Then we're going to show you Doyle's customs. No, then we're going to show you a video about Batman cereal. Okay, so this Batman cereal has a free bank on it. Just plastered on the top. (laughs) It's like they just threw it on top, wrap sealed it, and then put it out. Yeah, it's not sealed. Are you sure? I want to see pictures of the top. There you go. This this is totally resealed. I no, I don't think so. Yeah, it is. Mm, okay, probably. This is try box. Okay, that's not bad. And this other one with the same bang is fifteen. Okay, so they do have plastic wrap over it. Uh huh. Okay, so now it doesn't look that bad. Now it's fine. Okay, buy the fifteen dollar one if you really want some Batman cereal. Okay. Now, can we look up the thing that I wanted to show the? Hold on. One second. Oh god, are we gonna watch a video about Mr. Cereal? In cereal time, okay. No, it's cereal time. Because those Mr. Cereal. Oh, we need to show the MrBreakfast.com. Oh, yeah. Carvana is the only place where you can buy a car from (laughs) click to delivery. We don't care about Carvana. Cereal time. Cereal time. (laughs) Cereal time. (laughs) What's up, Cereal Heads? Today we're going to talk about Batman Cereal. They released this Batman cereal in 1989 to coincide with the movie's release. As you can see from the box, the cereal is little honey flavored multi grain pieces shaped like bats. Not very creative, but it doesn't matter because you see this logo and name in 1989, you beg your parents to buy the cereal. Also, it didn't hurt that they shrink wrap these cool Batman banks in select boxes of the cereal. So it's a little plastic container resembling Michael Keaton's Batman. And there's also this offer for Batman nightlights that you can send away for. I have no use for this, so I'm going to give it away to a lucky viewer. The details will be down in the description. Okay, let's open this bad boy up and take a look at the cereal. So here's what the little bat pieces look like. Here's where bold this stuff looks like. You can see the little bat shapes. So I made a promise to myself not to try any more cereals that are more than 10 years old. So if you're watching this video, hoping to see me eat this, sorry to disappoint you. This one had some staying power and lasted almost two years before they pulled it in 1991. Just in time to make room for the new Batman Returns movie that came out in 1992. Once again, Ralston paraded out another Batman cereal to tie in with the film. So you can see here it's little crunchy chocolatey checks with different shaped marshmallows. A Batmobile, a penguin's hat, a bat symbol, a Batman head. Check out the back of the box. In each box of cereal, there's a chance to win a complete set of Kenner Batman toys. It says here on the side panel the price package is worth $257.80. There's a 1 in 15,000 chance that you'll win, and the contest ended June 15, 1993. But they also have one free glow-in-the-dark static clean sticker inside, so even if we don't win the big prize, we still get something. Doesn't look like we're a grand prize winner. A little sticker down here. So we got this cool little penguin glow-in-the-dark static clean sticker. Again, I have no use for this, so I'm going to give it away to a lucky viewer. Hmm, this one's got a chocolatey smell to it. It's still stale and old, but... Chocolatey. There's a little chocolatey checks pieces. There's a little penguin hat marshmallow. This is what's left of the Batmobile marshmallow. This is supposed to be a little bat head. And there's a little shriveled up bat symbol. Here's where bold this stuff look like. You can see the little shrunken marshmallows. It doesn't smell that bad, honestly. I kind of want to try it. All right, I'm going to try it. One chocolate piece. It's not terrible. Definitely still a little plasticky tasting. But the chocolate kind of overwhelms it. Okay, so Ralston decided two Batman cereals is enough, and they stopped. Unfortunately, Warner Brothers didn't, and they made two more films in the franchise, which we won't name, out of respect to Michael Keaton. 
Okay, thanks for watching. Until next time, stay crunchy. You ever dance with a devil in a pale blue bunny? Cereal. Can't believe you make cereal. How about cereal? <laughs> okay, we need to show mixedbreakfast.com. Oh, hold on. We need to watch like one commercial from this. What? This is a retro commercial <laughs> compilation. Strange in the neighborhood. Have no fear. So these were the ads for the toys. So after you saw the movie. You would go to the toy store and you'd be like, Mommy, buy me this, Mommy! We are watching the whole thing. Ecto Plasm, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, and other figures each sold separately. Ghostbusters, new from Kenner. Ghostbusters! Each sold separately. Do you need This is funny. I don't know why this exists. Yeah. I think that's enough. Now, Wyatt, I want you to uh, go into your Gmail. And look at the email I sent you. Hey, they can't see my Gmail account, can they? They can. Oh, dude. It's not that big. Yeah? Reese Armstrong. Press on the link. This. 80 bucks? I know, look at it. <laughs> Keep on into the fridge. But they have other stuff, like, too, if you want to click under those customs. They have lots of stuff for, like, the Nintendo Switch that has stuff to do with retro. And I thought it would be pretty cool to show them this stuff. That is pretty cool. So these are cases for it? You know what, Why? I'll get out, um, I'll cut out the part of the G now. Okay. But anyway, guys, um, what should we do now? I think we should end the stream. No, let's do something else. Okay. Hey, um, I have something that I want to show you. I don't know why. I don't know if this has anything to do with a retro nerd stream, but it's called Escape from XP.
What's the Look skate? For? Skate from XP. Is it a son? Is that a, a it's a game? It's a game. Is it the Sonic one? No. Oh. It's not on YouTube. Well, I want to watch something. But I want. I really want to show the skate. Fine. And then we can watch YouTube. Fine. What? Is it? Escape from XP. It's really funny. From XP. XP. Yeah, I know. Enter. Press the Quora. Where can we find Microsoft's XP game? Down. This one? No, down. Yeah, that one. And then press the link. This one? Page on as their websites. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Their world game. It's a good. This is the loading screen. This looks old. That's the point. It's a fun game. Welcome. You just gotta wait. We can try the game. So now you gotta tune it down. What do I do? You gotta shoot them by pressing the space bar. Oh, you know how to do it. How do I move? You don't move. Oh god! What's happening? This, this is the game. Oh my god! What's happening? This is the game. Evil paper clips. I know. Oh my god! Evil paper clips everywhere. Yeah. Oh my god. What in the world? Oh dang, they got me. You're better than me at this game. I played a lot of shooters in my time. I played it though. Not because of the shooting, I don't mind it, but it's because of the Internet Explorer and all that. It's very funny. I'm doing pretty good, right? Yeah, with 81,000. What was your score? Like 18,000. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, God, they're, they're surrounding me. Reese, help me. You're losing all your head. <laughs>